Hey guys, what is going on? It is Bingzer here, and today I'm bringing you episode 3 of Trade Into a Record Breaker. Check. Now, if you guys haven't seen the previous episodes, make sure you go and check them out. There is a playlist, so make sure you go and do that. As you can see, something from the last episode did actually sell, and EA are giving out free packs, so I decided to open the first free pack that they gave out on camera. And also, guys, I apologize for not uploading yesterday. I've actually got a new desk, and my setup is coming along. Quite nice, I just need to get another monitor now, and uh, yeah, my setup should be pretty much done. So that is the reason I didn't upload yesterday, so I do apologise for that. But anyway guys, I'm going to go pick up some players for today's episode, and I'll be back with you guys in a second. So guys, I went and picked up quite a few players. As you can see, we've actually picked up that green card there. And the silver, this is a recommendation, what I would say to you guys. The silver green cards will always sell for that little bit more than discard. Maybe not too much more, but they will sell for like maybe a thousand coins more. Purely for the fact that they are silver cards and it was the same last year and it looks like it's going to be the same this year. But I was mainly trading with the Hunter and Shadow Chemistry style method this episode. As you can see, the majority of those players did sell. The only two that didn't is Rami and Loic Remy. And hopefully they do sell. We picked up four more players, guys. Picked up that King guy. This inform here, and we also picked up another inform, which were going on pretty good deals. And the only reason I picked these up is was because I was trying to find a new method, guys. I was really trying to find methods today. As you can see, Remy and the two silvers did sell. We were just waiting on Remy and the two informs. So we went and picked up some more players. And we actually decided to pick up silvers this time, which I normally wouldn't want to try and always use silvers. Just with the way they've been going in this series, though. You guys, if you have been watching every single one, the majority of the profit will we have earned from 1,000 coins to where did we start? We started at this episode at 25,000. That is majority, the majority of the coins have come from trading with silver players. It is so easy to pick up deals. Just go on Footbin, go on Silvers, type in the max price of 1,000 coins, scroll through them all, type in the name on Footbin, and if they're worth more, you guys have made profit. So we did pick up quite a few Silvers. And we made quite a bit of profit off these silvers. And this guy here, Silver, I forgot, I forgot his first name. Uh, I think it's, it may be Wellington Silver. I may be wrong on that. You guys probably know who it is. That was an absolute bargain what we got on him. And he is an absolutely amazing player on FIFA. Always has been and always has been worth a few thousand coins. That inform there, he didn't sell. I'm pretty sure none of the informs sold. And uh, I just wanted to show you guys, this is the method that I was using for my silver players. I was trying to get more expensive silver players. So as you can see, we've got the minimum price to 5,000, minimum buy now to 7,500, and um, what is it, the, the quality to silver. So what I would do, I'd just add these to the transfer targets, and then I'd compare price. As you can see, he had an 800 minimum buy now. So you could have put a 500 coin bid on him, made 300 coins or something like that. And then we come across this Hector Bellerin, and I know he goes for a lot more than 1,500. So we go and search how much that he goes for. We actually chuck a bid on him straight away because I was pretty sure, as I knocked my desk and nearly knocked my desk over there, I'm pretty sure he goes for around 7,000 coins. Well, at the time, I was pretty sure he went for that. So I searched him up, put it to silver. Probably should have sped this bit up, but I didn't really think to do that because I'm a bit of an idiot like that. But um, yeah, I just want you, someone commented on one of the last episodes, show us the method. Now, if you guys would like to see me do trading methods, uh, trading methods as other videos, make sure you let me know. But I just decided to show you how I would pick up players. Now, this wasn't the greatest deal that we got. I did speed it up. But as you can see, his minimum was 6,500. And I just wanted to get an example for you guys. So we keep bidding on this and my, my limit really was around 5,900 just because I was willing to sell him for 6,500. So we picked him up for, is that 5,000? Yeah, 5,900 as you can see. And then we list him at 6,500 as you'll see in a minute. We did actually pick up some more players using this method as you can see. That guy there, we picked him up for 250 coins I think it was. And uh, we're selling it for 900, and we picked up quite a few deals using this method. Now, would I recommend you guys use this method as your main method? No, purely for the fact that it takes a while to find the actual best deals. And as you can see, we actually added a contract to Bellerin before we sold him. Now, the majority of the silvers did sell. The two informs also sold. So did like Remy. 
and there was one silver who no matter what I list him at just wouldn't sell which is this guy Ojo I think that I've probably got that 100% 110% wrong then I went and picked up these players which is the last batch of players for today and I was just using the shadow chemistry style method and this is my favorite method I have ever used I absolutely love this method because gold players, this sells so much quicker. And with this chemistry style, it's so easy to pick them up. Now, if you guys want a tutorial on this, make sure you let me know. And I'll definitely do that because I love this method. So make sure you let me know. If you want to see me do a trading method tutorial, let me know in the comments if you would like to see that. But as you can see, we are sitting on 40,000 coins. Pretty much 40,000 exactly. So we've only made 15,000 coin profit this episode, but to say I was trying out new trading methods, trying to find something new where I'd earn more coins, I think that is a successful episode. And uh, yeah, next next episode, let's see, I'm going to try and hope, see if we can get to at least 60,000 coins as a minimum. That is my target for next episode. But anyway guys, make sure you let me know if you've enjoyed this video by dropping a like on it. And if you enjoy my content guys, make sure you subscribe. And also, make sure you all have an absolutely outstanding day, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and peace.